everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I made a video. I think it's been about uh, two months since I made a video. I mean, obviously I'm putting content privately on my channel for those who like either order spells or group rituals or whatever it may be, but it has been a hot minute since I actually did a video for you guys. Um, so today I want to make a video in regards to, um, how do I want to put this? Uh, doing things in the real world instead of spiritual world. Um, for manifestation. So I know for a fact I have videos on my channel that specifically talk about, um, like if you're doing money work, if you're trying to get a job and you're just, you're doing the money work, but you're not actually going out and putting the resumes. Um, so that would be, that would be considered real world stuff, but I know I've made videos about that kind of stuff, but that also applies to like love stuff too. So I know that like in situations we get, I don't want to say traumatized, things happen and we become hesitant because we expect the other person to like come to us and we expect the other person to uh talk to us first and sometimes we get backward or we get shy or maybe we just have too much pride or what we think is pride we just get very angry inside and we we just well if that person has reached out to me i'm not going to bother with them right so fuck them when you're performing magic you can't have that attitude. When you're performing magic, you need to suck it up, suck up whatever you think is your pride, suck up whatever you think is your weakness, and message that person just to say hello. Like, even if you did have like a horrendous fight, unless this person is detrimental to your well being, I wouldn't bother. I don't even know why you would be doing magic on a person like that. But be the bigger person and just freaking uh, say, hi, how are you? You know, because we have to bring things in the physical world in order to manifest the magic. Um, I know like certain people do a lot of astral work and maybe they can try to talk to somebody in the astral work, but come on. Let's, let's bring it into, let's be real world, right? It's time to get real. Let's do something in the physical sense. And let's say, hi, how are you? It's bringing it. You know, and the, and again, back to that it, it applies with your money magic. So if you are trying to get a job, you are trying to uh, get money, you are trying to do this, you're trying to do that. Um, you have to like physically go out there and hustle. You have to put in your resumes. How you expect a job to come to you if you're not applying for one. And number two, say like you do find the perfect job and you put, like you start doing work on that perfect job and then that perfect job doesn't work out. You cannot, absolutely cannot blame your practitioner for that and you cannot blame spirit for that because ultimately you were not meant to have that job and I know that you're like yeah but I did magic it should work yeah that's true you did magic and it should technically work however it didn't and the reason is most likely what's going to happen is you are going to turn around and you are going to walk away from that position. You're either going to quit, you're going to get fired, you're not going to be happy, it's not going to be like exactly the pay and stuff or like the advancement like you thought it was going to be and ultimately you are going to fail. So spirit knows things we don't know. If spirit brings you something else, that something else is probably what you need at the moment. Even if it's not your ultimate goal, it is the goal that it needs for today to get you where you need to be. And the same applies for magic. Again, we're going to go back to bringing stuff in the real world, but we're also going to go back to what if you're doing magic on somebody or something and it's just not working out, like this person is just not contacting you. Um, then most likely 
that person is probably not good for you and you probably already know that going into the magic um most likely that person is the yeah <laughs> you know what i mean like they're not meant to be with you um they're no good for you spirit can see what's going to happen if you got with together with this person spirit is going to see this pain that this person is going to create uh for you and spirit's not going to do it like it's just not going to happen and then you know on the flip side of that we also have to let go of the magic as well so if we sit here and we dwell like when is this person going to contact me i'm not hearing i just did a spell why isn't it happening why 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 i i get that all the time um it doesn't happen as long as you hold on to it you need to release it, let it go, and allow the magic to work. Trust in the spirit. Just let it go. Do you. Focus on you. The more you dwell, the more you, I, you know, I'm obsessed with, like, you know, timing and what the work looks like or what, like, you know, the time frame should be. Well, that time frame should be is not you. It could be that for the person that was before you or the person that's also working like say I'm working with, um, but it's not you <laughs> and your situation is different than other people. And sometimes we have to change within in order for magic to grow and in order for you to be the better person, because what's going to happen is, are you really want to get back in a relationship, even with somebody when you actually haven't changed? Cause not everything is the other person's fault. Sometimes we have to change oneself because maybe you are the asshole. Maybe you are the bad guy. So just think about that for a minute because they have feelings and emotions too, just like you do. So, you know, sometimes we have to really do some soul searching here and think about, um, maybe I should change me. Alrighty. I hope this video made sense to you guys. And I hope what I had to say made sense. Um, but if I'm telling you to reach out to somebody, freaking do it. If I'm telling you, just say hello, freaking do it. Um, you know, you didn't come to me to do magic for you to tell me, no, I don't feel right about it. No, I don't feel it's the time. Well, then if you, if you really did, then why did you come to me to begin with? That doesn't really make sense though, does it? Um, so yeah, <laughs> I hope you understand this video. Think it through what I actually said about stop uh, obsessing, start doing things in the real world, start putting yourself as number one, and your magic will come to fruition, whether you believe it or not, your magic will. So this Thursday, I might as well bring it up right now, this Thursday, I have um, major, major, because we are summer solstice this week, and I have decided to combine the summer solstice with the full moon and create a fabulous ritual. So that is popping on Thursday night. I'm going to do it Thursday. I think the full moon is Friday. It's a strawberry moon, but... I want to do it on summer solstice. We're in that full moon energy three days before, three days after. I'm doing it the day before. So it's all full moon energy. So it's going to be a banging ritual on summer solstice slash full moon. I have it available on my Etsy shop in case you are interested in it. Um, if you want to become part of the ritual, just check out my Etsy click on the link and you can purchase um then you can jump on board and become part of the group ritual otherwise if you're doing your own work make sure you put that full intention in it set it forget it let it go and like grab hold of that night guys if you're doing your own magic go ahead fire something up yourself and put that intention out there many 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 blessings to each and every one of you and happy conjuring